Autoencoders are powerful neural networks that have been quietly working behind the scenes to enable a wide range of AI applications. Although they might not make the headlines as often as the latest large language models, they play an extremely crucial role in the world of artificial intelligence. In this video, I'm going to be explaining how autoencoders work, what they do, and also some of their most important applications. So let's dive in. Autoencoders are a type of neural network that were first developed in the 1980s and then later popularized by Geoffrey Hinton in 2006. Autoencoders consist of two parts, an encoder and a decoder. An encoder takes in input data, for example, images, and compresses it into a smaller representation. A decoder then takes this smaller representation and tries to recreate the original image as closely as it possibly can. This process helps autoencoders learn efficient data representation. To even better understand how autoencoders work, imagine if you have a box full of toys and you want to fill all of these toys and fit them into a much smaller box. To do this, you need to find a really efficient way in order to place the toys so that they fit into this much smaller box. This is exactly what autoencoders do. They find efficient ways to compress large data like images into much smaller representations. And this is useful for a variety of reasons, like reducing storage and increasing computational efficiency. But it is especially important for two main reasons. And the first one is noise reduction. Autoencoders are able to decrease noise in data, and they're able to filter out unnecessary information in data such as images, so that it actually helps to make our AI models much more efficient. Number two is feature extraction. Autoencoders are able to focus on the exact features which are important to a type of data and important features which actually make up that data which are worth looking at and worth keeping. So this also helps to make AI models much more efficient. Now let's look at some common examples of how autoencoders are widely used. One of the most popular ways in which autoencoders are used is in recommendation systems. For instance, Netflix uses autoencoders in its recommendation system on its platform to recommend movies and shows to users. The reason why autoencoders are so great at this is that they are able to learn and map users to different movies or items in a really efficient way and store them in a really efficient way. And they're able to accurately learn and predict what a new user might like when they come in. And that's exactly why autoencoders are used in recommendation systems. The second way in which autoencoders are used is in anomaly detection. Now, when it comes to financial data in particular, as we have learned, autoencoders are able to create really condensed and efficient representations of input data through its encoder. So when it comes to financial data, autoencoders are able to learn patterns and really common types of data which exist. So if they automatically notice any type of data which is very different from the patterns that they have learned and condensed, they are able to flag that as a type of fraudulent uh, activity. And that is exactly how they're really good at detecting anomalies, not just in financial data, but in various other data types as well. Autoencoders are also used in natural language processing tasks like summarization and translation. Furthermore, they are also used in image uh, processing tasks as well, such as removing noise from images. And they're often used to reduce dimensions in large data. So making data much more efficient to put into training with AI models. So from recommending your favorite movie to detecting credit card fraud, autoencoders play a large role in the AI landscape. Their ability to learn efficient data representations makes them really crucial to a lot of applications within AI. Let us know what you thought about this video and what you thought about autoencoders and hit subscribe for more amazing AI content.